welcome back to the channel. It's Kitty here. I hope you're having a great day. This is for all of you guys who have been asking me to do a family cast. I am finally doing one. I thought it would be a perfect time now since Parenthood just came out this week, which is all about being a parent and a teen and a child and spending time together with your family. So I wanted to create a family for myself to play with. So this is going to be the Thomas family. At first I call them so the Summers family, but I do change it after like I make three of them and I change it to Thomas because I wanted them to have like like a short and good last name that's easy to remember so we went with Thomas so I'm gonna make the parents and I'm going to make six kids and yesterday I posted their apartment already I called it the actually that was two days ago I called it huge family apartment so go there to check that out if you haven't seen it I built the apartment first and then I made the sims so it's kind of funny but Yes, these sims were like meant for those rooms. So I think I'm going to be doing a, like a little mini let's play with these sims and I'm really really excited about that. If you guys have any ideas what I should do in the let's play let me know but it's not going to be anything too long. It's going to be like a little series on my channel where I'm going to play with these sims in the new apartment and test out all the new stuff from parenthood. Maybe do some storytelling. We're going to find out. But this is the mother. Her name is Joy. Honestly I randomized her name. I, I clicked the button one time and it came up with Joy and I was like that's the perfect name for her so let's go with that. So she's Joy. I'm actually going to change her top off camera to like a wider color instead of this black one I wanted to have a little bit more color but she's also wearing the new hair from the parenthood pack that kind of looks like the taller hair in my opinion just changed to adults and then she's just wearing some cute CC shorts and some cute witches and this is gonna be the mother I'm only gonna be doing their everyday outfits on camera because we have eight sims to go through but she's family friendly she's a foodie and she's also a good sim she is in the food business she has her own catering company so that's what I thought of for the mother and for the father her husband is gonna be Jackson Thomas he I don't know I need you guys to tell me down in the comments what do you think his job should be when I start playing what could he do he's active he's a goofball and he's romantic so he's a really fun guy I'm sure he's gonna be a great dad I hope so at least <laughs> we're gonna find out but what should his job be because I don't know yet their apartment is kind of neutral their bedroom is very like earthy tones with blue nothing crazy in there that would indicate his job there's a computer I think maybe so if you have any ideas tell me down in the comments but I think he turned out so handsome and I'm using that only new guy hair from the pack on him I thought it was a really nice hair so we gave it a go I tried to use some items from the pack in this cast since this is related to parenthood but I did use some CC as well because I love CC and I had to use them obviously but this jacket is from the pack as well I really like it I especially love this one that has like the oh gosh what is that thing called like the cam camouflage color oh my gosh I what is that I, I remember in Finnish I don't know you know that thing on the shoulders and his aspiration just like his wife's is to be the super parent i love this sim he's so cute and for their kids i used a uh, play with genetics button so i did f change their faces a little bit and their bodies but i did originally create them from like using the parents genetics and then change their faces up a little bit to be just more what I wanted them to look like. So this is gonna be the oldest daughter or the oldest of all the children. Her name is Megan. She is the one who lives in the pink girly room. I didn't wanna make her clothes pink or I did kind of, but I didn't feel like it suited her. So we went with more orange and white, which really looks great on her skin tone. But she likes to do all girly things. She has a huge walking closet. I think maybe she has like a fashion blog or a YouTube channel. Tell me down in the comments if you have any ideas for what Megan should do. But I think she's gorgeous. I did want to use a CC hair for her because I thought this one looked absolutely beautiful on her. I didn't want to go with the braid hair that came from the pack because I just like this one better. And we do use a new top on her. Like I said, this one, which is my favorite. I love the pink and like 
turquoise color but we do end up going with like the orange color for her at first i was testing these colors on her but then i remembered that she's supposed to be in the pink room and she should be more girly to fit that room so we go with the orange with a cute little white skirt and some white ballet flats i think and i really really love the sim as well i think she's like one of the popular girls but she's not me she's a very nice girl very friendly open to everyone so I think that's kind of like her personality. She's outgoing and cheerful, so I love her. I think she's so cute, and she's the oldest of all the kids. So next, we're going to be making her brother, the next kid in line. His name is Adam. I love him. He's so cute. I gave him pimples off camera, off camera, by the way. I completely forgot about that they even existed, but I thought he would be the perfect kid to put them on, so... He's gonna have some pimples on his face, which is a pretty cool, like, addition from Sims 4 Parenthood. Like, I don't know, that's pretty realistic if you ask me. So, Adam is kind of like the emo kid, but he's not too, too out there. He's not wearing any, like, black eyeliner, don't worry about that. But I did give him black hair and a beanie and some... Gosh, those, like, huge earrings that, like, stretch your ears, or whatever they're called. And then... He were, okay, you're gonna see, but I really like his character. I think he's gonna be really fun to play with. We're gonna explore more about what he is or like who he is and what he wants to do with his life. But I think he's a bit of a loner. He loves music. He's a bit of a geek as well. He has like a huge gaming setup in his room, his own TV. He loves just being online and playing games with his friends online. He doesn't have that many friends in real life. They're mostly online. So I think he's a really Really cool character and I love his face as well he's so cute in my opinion I love this new hoodie as well that we got from parenthood but I didn't really feel like it suited him so we go with one of the my CC hoodies actually that has this one like the red one with the pattern I thought that would be perfect for him so we go with that one and then we use the ripped jeans from bowling night because I'm obsessed with them still and just some pretty basic shoes and his traits are gonna be geek and music lover because he does have a guitar in his room so I think he's gonna start on that and we're gonna see we're gonna see what kind of like kid he becomes we this might be one of the kids that we're gonna try to give him some of like the bad uh what are they called again life traits oh gosh what are they called can't remember value traits or something <laughs> we're gonna see but maybe we'll give him like really bad manners or something because i do want to play around with those to see what we can make moving on to the next kid this is abigail i love her as well she is the animal lover of the family she loves all animals she has a little fish in her room i wish we had more pets in the sims 4 but for now we're gonna have to do with the fish she has all like animal plushies and posters and her room is really colorful and obviously i had to use this new hair from the pack I I absolutely love this hair. It is so cute. It's, I'm trying all different hairs on her, but this one with a cute little like flower ribbon, ribbons, flower like I don't know what those are, little pins on it as well. So so cute. And we use new clothes on her as well. I don't remember which pants we put on her, but I did try to find something that had like an animal on it, but none of them were really perfect. I wanted to use the new like tied up shirt, this one. So I really love that one. And then I think she just gets some like pretty basic, pretty basic pants and she's so, so adorable. I love her. I think she's going to be lots of fun to play with. And maybe if we ever get pets, I'm going to bring her back and she can be like the main character in my Sims 4 pet series. <laughs> We're going to find out, but she doesn't want to have like all pets ever. And maybe she does like horse riding or like volunteers at the like I don't know, close by kennel or something, but she loves the outdoors. She loves going outside and hanging out with her animal friends. So next we're doing her brother, or this is everyone's brother. <laughs> you know, they're all related. They're all from the same parents. So this is going to be Alexander. He is obsessed with space. His room is all about space. He can't get enough. When he grows up, he wants to be an astronaut. He wants to go to the moon, to, I don't know, to the Mars, whatever. He wants to go into space, basically. He's obsessed with looking at, like, videos online about space. And he likes to draw and, you know, that kind of thing. So he's a very smart kid. He's good at school, he's gonna get good grades, he's good at like physics, he wants to be good at them as well, so he can be an astronaut. So I just like to give him glasses because they would they were really cute on him and he's like one of the only kids that has blonde hair for some reason. I just went with dark hair for most of them. 
two of them only have blonde hair like their mother but I wanted to find him a shirt that kind of represented space some way so I wanted to find like a purple shirt I think we ended up going with one of the new shirts I love the jacket he's wearing right now it's so cute but it just wasn't really his personality <laughs> I even tried that cat shirt but we do end up going with this shirt this just that just has some like random pattern in purple and I have to give him the like tie of flannel around his waist because I didn't give it to any of the other kids so I thought he could be the kid to wear that and he is going to be a genius I believe for his trade right now and yeah next we're gonna make the last two kids they're both toddlers I love them I decided to make toddler girls I don't think they're really twins but maybe they're twins or maybe they were just born like a year in between each other but they're so cute. I forgot to get like child lashes on my game, but I do have toddler lashes, so they look adorable on them. This is gonna be Mackenzie. She turns out super, super cute. They don't really have personalities yet because they're just little toddlers, but their room is very cute. We're gonna see what they're gonna we're gonna do with them. Maybe we'll even age them up at some point, but I do wanna play around with toddlers as well. And here she is. I think I gave her like one of the base like base outfits this one because it was just so cute with the little unicorn i think she's adorable and i think i made her a charmer and then we're gonna make her sister who i call june she's adorable as well and she's the other blonde kid that we have and what is her trait? i mean her trait i think i made her silly probably so she's gonna be a really fun toddler as well and yeah that's pretty much it for the cows if you guys enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and tell me down in the comments who is your favorite kid of the thomas family what do you think jackson should do as his job uh, if you have any other ideas for what i could do in the let's play when i start playing with these guys i don't know if i can have a part out tomorrow on sunday but definitely early next week i'm gonna start on that and i'm probably gonna start on the seven toddler challenge as well maybe at the same time or maybe after this we're gonna find out but if you would like to see that as well let me know down in the comments and let me know your thoughts about sims 4 parenthood and the new cast items i did a little review yesterday if you missed it you can go check that out even though i was like three days late but that's okay i was busy with work so i forgive myself hope you can forgive me too Anyways, if you want to find any of the CC, my Tumblr is linked in the description down there at the bottom. That's where I reblog everything that I have in my game. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Come back tomorrow for, I don't know, some other, other new video or the next sim in my social media, Create a Sim series. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.